Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fantasy 3 with a match between Cybernetic Pony and Catalyte on Tomb of Heroes. And no, this is not the same game as last time. This is another game that they played immediately after, according to the timestamps. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, but yeah, this was the next game that was on the list of replays. So I'll just go for that then. I'm gonna make my thumbnail art really hard to work out though. Like, I don't know if anyone who's watching has noticed the thumbnails I've been doing on my YouTube channel where I have like a map, in, well, only for 0k right now, but the map image in the background and the names of the players that are kind of color coded and then a little image of what factory they chose at the start. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna work for situations where it's the same matchup on the same map with the same fact. Well, I'm not sure if Catalyst is going for Vecchio this time. Oh no, he's going for CISO. Okay, so there will be a slight difference in the thumbnail. But yeah, I might have to think about that. I'm not really sure what to do there. Because I want the thumbnails to be recognizable almost more because of the fact that they're my show than they are because of the specific game. That seems to be how most thumbnails work. There's only a small amount of information showing that this is the game in question. Anyway, we do have Cadillac over CISO this time around rather than for Vec gear. And going for a very early comm center in his main base as well, which is a little bit odd. Oh, no, not comm center. Sorry, what? No, nope, never mind. RP not next to the, not next to the crates for some reason. Not a big deal. It can move, but it isn't the least. It isn't the most efficient thing to do. And Cybernetic Pony going for four and one once again. So we're going to see probably a quick Lancer Tornad build, as he did last time. Quick machinery tech, while Cadillac going for more infrastructure once again. We'll see if he goes for one base play this time. With Vecchio, it's very tempting to do that because they are kind of tricky when it comes to defending other bases, but CISO has always, always been about hyper-expansion. Admittedly, ever since about 1.3, it's been toned down a great deal, but CISO is great at just spreading out across the map. They're the best species for doing that by far. Well, humans are the best species, but yeah. They are the best for doing map control by far. That is what they do. So if Catalyst sticks to one base play, I will be rather surprised. And Cybernetic Pony, on the other hand, is going... Well, once again, Lancer. Yep. Same as last time. Lancer opening with Scout Tech. Although, admittedly, now he's facing against another CISO player. And Catalyst doesn't even have to build any additional units or anything just to defend against that. His Marines and Special Ops were at home. Loses the Special Ops in the process, unfortunately. But still has the Marines, and that should help out with the Lancer. He will lose this Marine to the Lancer, but the other one, I think, will live. We'll find out, though, shortly. The Lancer's just about to come in here. And there it comes. There's that Lancer. And it does kill one of the Marines. The other Marine finishes it off beforehand. But, however, a second Lancer is coming, as it did last time. And that will finish off everything. This Lancer is going to be... Well, it probably won't... Ki actually, will. Will ca kill Catalyte, actually. Catalyte's got to prepare for this. He needs to build an armory. He needs to get... He has a special ops this time around, but still. He needs to get an armory. He needs to not... He needs to rebuild these units, or armory, or factory, or something. I mean, he's... If he loses both of these Marines, although admittedly he's going to be in a better situation this time around, both of the Marines are at full health, but still, if he loses the Marines, he cannot rebuild them. He only has the Importer, he has nothing else, and Lancer is coming in. First Marine is going to go down the... No, just barely lives that Marine. That is one lucky Marine right there. Probably should have died, but didn't. And it looks like he is, it is now going to be building a lot of importers. No, build armories or factories. One of the two. Either one. Doesn't really matter. Either way, he can rebuild. And Cybernetic Pony gets the armory. Well, he gets the armory at the three minute mark or so. Four minute mark, sorry. Four minute mark. Likely to get machinery pretty soon. Hasn't started it yet, but he will probably within the minute after that. So between, within four and five minutes, or between the four and five minute mark, he will get machinery because that's what he does. Doing back, however, he is at the 231 mark. Not really anything eventful going on there. Getting the Lancer up. Looks like he is doing the same thing as last time. Just moving his infantry out of the way. Retreating with them. Not engaging. If he engages with both Lancers at once, I think it'll probably work out really well. But engaging one at a time, that is going to give Cadillac the room he needs. And likely will allow him to build the armory eventually. We have Cybernetic Pony waits a bit. Sends in the second Lancer, that would do it. Although immediately he doesn't know this. It's really kind of hard to know what your opponent is going to be up to. And now Catalyte has the four minute mark, built his own armory, built two armories in fact, three armories. Okay, he's really going for it this time. See, so yeah, the Lancer is a little bit late to deal with this. We'll be able to get rid of this one Marine, but still, the armories are up. Marines can be replaced. 
Catalyte is no longer in an unwinnable situation if he loses all of his starting in Marines. And actually, he is building heavily economy. Okay, he is going for one base play. Heavy economy, heavy importers. Catalyte is... Looks like he's going to go for a massive Marine rush. I kind of doubt the effectiveness of this. However, he might still be able to go for it. And it looks like Cybernetic Pony at the 322 mark trying to attack before the armory is built and might be successful. Special Op is not posing much of a threat. It is going to damage the Lancer a fair bit. It is going to slow down. But a second Lancer is falling behind it. And that is problematic. Cybernetic Pony is going for machinery. The first Lancer does die before its partner in crime comes to help it out. That being said, the Cybernetic Pony is still able to get rid of these Marines before the army goes down. And, well, okay, one of the Marines. Not sure if the other one's going to bring the armory up, but looks like it probably will. It can, at least. Cybernetic Pony still in a position where he has to worry about this, although it looks like he... Okay, Catalyt, what is he doing? Okay, now he's kind of got this sorted out. Sort of. I'm really not sure Cybernetic Pony is even in a position to have anything to worry about from his point of view. Okay, his point of view is, is actually a bit too far in the future. That's something to point out. He is... Going from far future, that is not going to work out too well. Gets rid of one of the armories. Might be able to get rid of a second one before it goes up. No, never mind. He will not be able to do that. However, in his base, he does have a lot of importers. He does have ATGs coming in to follow up the Lancers. He does have a proxy armory as well. And a ton of importers. He's going for a marine rush. And that is probably going to be successful. Although, admittedly, so is Catalyte. Both players are going for heavy infantry. And Catalyte will be able to fend off the Lancers. At this point, it's being a question of numbers, and I think Catalyte does have a stronger economy at this point. He has more importers. He has about six importers to Cybernetic Ponies 5. He has four, five armories to Cybernetic Ponies 2. No, one, sorry. Cybernetic Ponies doesn't have one in his main base, so he has one proxy armory. Yeah, Catalyte should be able to defend against this without too much issue. Although, he is... Wow, he's... Seven... Seven reserves. 140 liquid crystal, just... How many, how many importers is this? It's going to be 13 or so importers being set up with all these armies. It's gonna, he is going for a heavy, heavy marine build. I have not seen, unfortunately, this many production structures. I have wished, I have prayed for the day when CISO players would start building six or seven production structures at a time. Especially armories, because that can just go off importers, basically. And build masses of units, which CISO can very easily do. And now that day has come, and I am very glad to see it. Catalyte, thank you. You have made my day, I suppose. In actually getting a lot of production structures. It would be kind of nice if they were factories rather than armories, but hey, armory still works. And now he has all of the hierarchy set up. Just needs to get more and more marines. Oh, he has, okay, he's running out of chrono energy with which to do that. He's actually cast... He's right at the present, too. That is that is the one problem with building this much in the way of production structures, but still... That is huge. Now, Cybernetic Pony, about two and a half minutes down from here, he is getting a factory proxy, as well as the army proxies. I'm another factory. The HACs are coming in. And he does see the sheer number of armors. At least, he starts to see it. Gets rid of the Northeast Comm Hub with the Lancers, so he... I, I'm not sure why he does that with the Northeast. With his opponent's Comm Hub. Psychological effect, I suppose. I mean, at that point, his opponent doesn't know where his forces are, so if his opponent tries to expand, the Lancers are probably right there. Which they are. So Catalyte, however, doesn't have any interest in expanding. He has all he needs right here. He is completely map control independent with 13, no, 14 importers. And admittedly, at this point, three armories. He doesn't have as many armories as he had previously, but still. He just needs to spam out units. Just build all the units. He can do it. And he is doing it. Building all of the special ops, building all the marines. Should be able to get rid of the ATHCs without too much issue. I mean, he's going to lose a lot of units in the process. Many, many brave men and women will die for Catalyte's cause. Pretty much in vain, but hey, well, that's a game for you. They will die horribly for fun and profit. Because that's what war is all about. Just fun and profit. And adventure and glory seeking. That's what war is all about. Okay, political diatribe aside, it's... Well... Not as good of a situation as Catalyte would have hoped. He does not have half as many armies as he had in the previous iteration, so he's not quite as well off. He does need to build more armies. 
But hey, he does have a lot of units being built. He actually has pr probably too many queued up, but still, he can still build the armors if he wants to from there. At this point, though, Separating Pony was able to build up a lot of infantry in the process, and that being said, Catalyze still in a good position defense-wise. I mean, yeah, he's losing a lot of units, but his armory's being built up. However, only two armories now. He needs to build replacement armories. He needs, like, once he defends off this attack, which he's about to, or just, well, now even, but yeah, once he defends off the attack that's coming in here, he needs to build more armories, and he does have more armories. Okay, good. More armories are being built, but Lancers are coming in from the north to get rid of the importers, and Cybernetic Pony does still have map control. He does still have a contain. Even if Catalyte has a defender's advantage, even if Catalyte has a lot of armories being built up, well, may have a lot of armories being built up. Okay, there's another armory. Good, but still possibly not good enough. Cybernetic Pony able to get rid of one of the armories. Three more have come up to take its place, but they have not been completed yet, and... Catalyte does not have a lot of chrono energy. He can't easily replace all these units. Can't easily rebuild. This is going to be rather tricky. One armory left. Okay, two armories now, and a third armory about to be completed, but a lot of the importers are going down as well, and Cybernetic Pony looks like he's about to completely tear apart this base, despite the amount of importers, I mean, armories. And unfortunately, Catalyte, if he had rebuilt the armory sooner, he probably would be able to hold this off, but he did not. And as it stands, he's now, just now, getting the production he needs, but he does not have the importers to support it. And all these factory units coming in here, Cybernetic Pony has pretty much won the day. And he has Magrafabs just in case. Get to get more tanks just in case, I imagine. But he can get anything at this point. Getting tanks as well just for backup. So yeah, Cybernetic Pony managed to tech up in the process, and that is going to be it. That's... Ah, shoot. That is it. That's game. Jumping back to the 817 mark, about two minutes down from when we were looking, but not a whole lot's going to change. Catalyte has lost this game. Not much he said about that. He might just... No, he doesn't easily have a chance. Unless he had a Marine going around the map building proxy importers just to hide it. Just have a bit more production, just in case. He's got no reserves. He has no way of building more units. He has one more round of units coming in, and that's it. And his importers are very nearly destroyed. His infantry are very nearly gone, and with that, he is going to be dead in the water. He'll have nothing to build with. One special op, no Marines, no way of building new Marines, and... No, he has one Marine! He has one Marine! This Marine building more armories, it needs to be build importers. He is trying to wall off with the armories. Interesting idea, but... Importers are what is needed. Needs to get importers. If he gets importers, he'll have a chance. But right now... Kind of cute wall off with the armories and comm centers, but... He can't rebuild anything. That's kind of the problem. He needs to build things. And Cybernetic Pony about to get vision. Now, Catalyte, on the other hand... His point of view, the 1045 mark, he does not have any importers. He is, in fact, losing the marine in question. He needs to go back and replace that. He needs to build importers. If you're in the situation at CISO, you need importers. If you're out of importers and you only have... He's lucky to have this one marine. He's just lucky that this thing has not died yet. But even then, now just getting comm centers... Why is he getting comm centers? That makes no sense. Get importers. That must have been a misclick. He must have meant to hit importers, and that's the only reason to have a line like this. That must have been a misclick. No, why is he building more armories? That makes no sense. Factories would almost make sense because that would provide him with additional with mechs. That wouldn't require reserves, but this probably was supposed to be importers. And there's a factory. He could build mechs, but at this point it's just way too late. I don't know what Catalyte is doing. I really don't. Oh, Cybernetic Pony is pointing out. He's just being a jerk. Okay, well, I guess in that case... Yeah, he's... Yeah, flying a bunch of comm centers into his opponent's base. That's... That is pretty BM. I'm sorry, that... What? Why? I mean, really. That's just rude. Anyway, that basically is game, obviously. I mean, this base is going down. Nothing's going down. I don't know why Catalyte wasn't trying. I mean, he could have built more imports. He could have spammed out more infantry. He might have had a chance, but... Nope. And that is it. So, once again, Catalyte loses to Saturday Pony. I don't even think Catalyte even tries when he plays, honestly. Every time I watch him, he does something silly like this. I mean, the imports weren't a bad idea, but still. I don't know. Anyway, that was basically the game. So, I'm just going to end it. And I'll go to another one pretty soon. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Despite Catalyte doing what he does. And I'll have another one for you guys in just a minute, so stay tuned.